What's going on everybody? Here we are, it's another week at the Home Theater Hobbies, and this week we're talking about physical media and why you should own it in 2019 and beyond. So let's get to it. On yesterday, February 18, 2019, Samsung announced that they would no longer introduce 4K USD players and Blu-ray players into the US market, and that it would be halting production on their existing players. And this makes me really, really sad, because to me this is a disturbing trend when it comes down to physical media. Now, many of you may be saying, well, I don't really buy discs, they're not really important, streaming is where it's at, Netflix, Amazon, Vudu, rentals from um, iTunes, all of those things, and to a certain extent I agree with you. But please stay tuned to this video, watch the entire thing because I'm going to make my points as to why we all should continue buying media. I'm going to start with the most basic reasons first and moving to ones that are a little bit more complicated, so stay tuned. So let's start with the first and most obvious reasons why you'd want to buy a 4K UHD disc and disc player, and that is picture and video quality. Netflix recommends that you have an internet bandwidth connection of at least 25 megabits per second to stream their 4K UHD content. Amazon Prime Video recommends something on the order of 15 megabits per second for their UHD content as well. A disc like this one can deliver anywhere from 80 megabits per second all the way to 125 megabits per second of data. That's four to even five times as much data than you would get out of your major streaming providers, even the ones with the deep pockets, right? So you'll get better picture quality when you have a disc, a disc player hooked up to your new beautiful television. You also don't have to worry about dips in bandwidth or everybody in your neighborhood streaming and so the bandwidth is horrible or everybody in your house is using the internet. Everybody get off the internet because I need to use it so I can watch my show. You don't have those issues. You can just watch it and there's no dips. As long as your disc isn't scratched or anything like that, it works just fine. The next reason to buy 4K USD disc is the audio quality. You get your 3D audio format. So not only do you get 5.1 surround, but you can also get overhead channels. Even if you don't have overhead channels, but maybe you have like a Dolby Atmos soundbar or something like that that projects that sound up into the air, it's a better format than your traditional 5.1 sound that you're getting from a lot of your Netflix and Amazon Prime content. So you get better audio quality with these physical discs. The third reason for buying physical formats is because you get a lot more extras on the disc. When you watch a movie on Netflix or Amazon Prime, and I'm picking on those because those are the market leaders, but basically any service, uh, you get the movie only, but you don't get the extras like the director's commentary, the actor interviews, um, gag reels, and things like that. You don't really get that. And so for those of you who like those things, or even maybe you have a certain movie that you like that you just like, want to know more about, you're missing those things when you only get them in a digital format. Now the last and most important reason that you should continue buying physical media in 2019 and beyond is from a rights management standpoint. I own these discs. I can do whatever I want with them. The content owner, my service provider has nothing to do with me and these discs. Now over the past uh, several years, services have closed like ultraviolet announced just a few weeks ago that they are closing for those of you who aren't aware ultraviolet was a digital locker for your digital content when you'd buy a disc like this it would come with a digital code and you'd get a slip of paper in it sorry like this and you'd go to the website put the code in and you could store it in your digital locker so you could watch it anywhere and that was really cool, but Ultraviolet decided to close their doors. Now me as an Ultraviolet customer, they sent me an email telling me this, I went, found the movies that were in my digital locker and I was able to move them over. So that was a great, uh, let's say, customer friendly or consumer friendly um, deal that Ultraviolet struck with the other providers. We were able to just move our content over. But I'm sure that some people did lose some content. And if you bought a disc like this and you stored it in uh, ultraviolet and then you threw the disc away or got rid of it or something like that and you it didn't transfer over, now you've lost it. So you don't have rights to content that you've already purchased. Now moving on with that thought, when you think about it, as we give our rights to somebody else, we have to deal with other issues. Just a few years ago, I think it was Viacom and Comcast or Viacom and Spectrum, one of the major cable providers here in the US, they were having a dispute. And there was a time where certain customers couldn't see certain shows from those networks because of this dispute. Now you're paying your cable bill and you can't see the shows that you wanna see because these really big companies are having a fight. 
That same thing can happen when you have digital content. If your ISP or something has an issue or a dispute with a big digital content company, maybe you don't get to see your movies. Now that hasn't happened yet, but there's nothing to say that it won't happen in the future. So that's just another reason to buy physical formats. As you can see here, I have a bunch of stuff. I've got my 4K USD player, which is a Sony, not a Samsung, but I have it. I've got movies that are in 4K USD. I've got TV shows on Blu-ray and DVD, and, and some of the stuff is really old. And honestly, I can't even find it on streaming. Like, let's say, uh, can I stream it that some of you may be watching or using to find different things? I can't find it. But if I have it here in my home, I can just pop the disc in and I can watch it. And that's what's really important. We own the rights to our content. We can do whatever we please with them. If we wanna watch them, we can watch them. We're not held or beholden to something like a content provider or a service provider. And that's the main reason why we should continue buying physical formats in 2019 and beyond. Now, some of you may say physical formats are expensive. You know, I've gotta buy a new disc player, I've got to buy, actually buy the media, they're 25, 30 bucks a disc, and I totally, totally agree with you. It is expensive, and one of the things that I recommend, and one of the things that I do personally, is I actually buy a lot of my physical media around Black Friday, around the Christmas hol the holiday sales in general, because they are five, 10, $15 off per disc, and so it's a lot cheaper to get some of the disc you own. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually save it in my Amazon cart and then come back in Christmas and I'll actually buy it then. Or I'll go to a store and you know buy it at that point. So that's a way that you can save money but still get the disc that you want to watch and watch them anytime you want to watch them. Now let's recap. The main reasons why you want to buy physical media today and beyond are basically four. First, you get better video quality. Second, you'll probably get better audio quality. Third, you'll get all the extras, nothing to worry about there. And fourth, and the biggest reason is that you own your content. You are not relying on somebody else. That ownership may change. Maybe they go out of business. Anything can happen. You own it. You can do what you will with it. Those are the reasons. Please share this video. Hopefully you agree. If you don't agree, at least I've given you something to think about. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, consider supporting us any way that you can. We'll talk to you next time.